Hello everyone, welcome back to Tim2716. My name is Tim, and today I have a plan. A plan that you may be wondering about. So if you saw the thumbnail, you saw that something stupid was on it. That is because I'm going to be building said stupid thing. All right, now that we're gonna build a truck, let's go. Now, I pre-selected a body, this one right here. This one right here is just the perfect size. It's a small truck. We'll give it carbon fiber for panel material, monocoque. I'm just gonna check out some other options and I choose monocoque. We're just gonna make carbon fiber. Front longitudinal sounds good, but let's see. Obviously we need the strongest suspension. It's a truck. So let's see, we also have, okay, let's see, we need, oh no. I accidentally chose a truck that's too small. I have to fix this. Okay, now it's done. Let's see, yes, this engine. It says, Tim only. Well, these cars are only for me and for you guys for viewing. But in a pickup truck, there's something that we all need and want. Yeah, front transverse, that sounds even better. We select the body style. Obviously the one that does not have the Targa top roof, which looks ugly. And now we're gonna make the wheels or gearing or whatever this is. Let's see, we have a bunch of different options. We have all that. I think I'm gonna do a dual clutch. Yeah, it has a little issue, but yeah, let's make it um, yeah, four speed. I think that sounds good. You know what, six, six speed manual. That's what we're gonna give this thing. And oh my, that engine just does not fit that truck at all. That truck was built for some engine that was a lot smaller or the same size with no turbos. The radiator is just sticking out of the front. That's pretty cool. But we're gonna be modifying the actual truck itself. We're gonna first start off with putting a grill on this car. Yeah, this grill now that I look at it isn't that good, but yeah, let's just get some lights on first. Yeah, some pretty nice circular lights that can be used all in ones. Pretty nice. We gotta modify some materials to make them look extra stupid because this is not a sensible truck in the slightest. This is supposed to be the stupidest, trashiest truck ever made. We're gonna make it magenta. I don't know what Barbie character magenta is supposed to Okay, yeah, we're just making it Barbie pink at this point because there's no way this thing could get any worse right at the moment. A front-wheel drive, 3,000 horsepower Barbie pink truck with yellow cloth window trim. What could possibly go wrong? Let's see, the wheels. We're not going to make the wheels a texture. We're actually going to be making just the tire rim things a texture. Now let's modify the wheels to make them as silly as possible. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they're so skinny. I don't think they're actually skinny enough. They're only 90s. That is too wide. That is way too wide. That is so unbelievably... <laughs> the fact that this truck is sitting on essentially bicycle tires is just so funny. 50s and, yeah, an interaction at a car meet would go like, What do you have? I have 50s. And that's not 50, like, wheel diameter. No, that's 50 wheel thickness, wheel width. That means there's only 50 millimeters of tread. And if you're wondering, my car sits on 235s. Now let's modify the lights some more, just make it a little more weird looking. The wheels themselves are pretty nice. They're too nice. We need to make them weird looking. I know squat the truck we need to make this a squatted truck we're not squatting it forward we're squatting it the normal way that a squatted truck would be the trashy way we're gonna make this vehicle look like it came straight from a landfill probably because that's where this thing belongs actually no more specifically a scrap yard but oh my gosh this thing is riding on 34s I don't think I've ever seen 34s in my entire life, and okay, I would like to see them at some point. I would like to see, like, a Honda Civic with 34-inch wheels, just to see how silly it is. And that's pretty much it. 
I'm currently done with the wheels right now, done modifying them. Now it's time to make them look cool. Okay, that just- that looks lame. That does not look cool, that looks terrible. I like the propeller style wheels, but that's not that good. That just looks like awful. That looks stupid. That looks even stupider. It looks like a shield. No, no. That actually looks decent, but I think we need something different. Something that actually looks good. Okay, those look weird. Those right there, eh, they look a little weak. They're three-piece, but I don't want them coming apart. That right there, the turbine thrasher wheels, they look amazing. Those look terrible. Just three-piece wheels. I, I don't think three-piece wheels would look good on a squatted truck. That looks like your standard JDM wheel, which... Yeah, those look like whatever wheels modern cars come with. Yeah, the turbine thrasher wheels are what I'm keeping. It's just, we need to change the color of them drastically. Let's change it to, um, I want to say, yeah, metal, black metal. Actually, no, glass, that's better. We'll change it to glass. The caliper, yeah, we'll just make that carbon, the only strong part. The other part, we'll make leather, because why not? The next part, we'll make out of plastic. Yeah, plastic wheels. It's a term, but that isn't really used, but... Yeah, let's also make them out of cloth as well. That is perfect. Actually, no, we'll make them out of glass. <laughs> Just, this is awesome. The fact that this game even allows you to make wheels out of glass. I actually kind of want to figure out if this is even possible. But yeah, this thing is looking really good so far. Let's put a tow hitch on. We'll put two... Yeah, we're not actually going to put them on the back. We're actually going to put them on the side, similar to the Dodge Viper. Okay, that sticks out a little too far. Let's just make it like that. And there's so many different things you can do to this thing. First off, the roof, it's still the same color. Yeah, we're going to duplicate these in order to give it one exhaust pipe for each cylinder. Twelve exhaust pipes. There. That looks awesome. Now, the, now we're going to be putting one in the hood as well, because we all need a hood exit exhaust on this car that already has 12 exhaust pipes. I didn't say this is going to look good, but yeah, let's make them front-facing. I always see, like, I only see exhausts that are either at the back, on the side, or out of the hood. I never see ones facing forward. Let's make these Headlights almost impossible to see anything inside of them. And now let's get a license plate. Uh huh. Very nice. We'll make it leather and cloth. Perfect materials. And now we're going to put some lights on the back at a 91.4 degree angle. Now we're going to modify the bumper some to make it more geometric and less aerodynamic. We'll make the front window as vertical as it can go. We'll make the cab small. Yeah, we're modifying everything. I gotta fix my exhaust. And now, there's a couple other things we need to do. For example, we need to get some Tesla Model S door handles. We need to get the same mirrors I have in my Turbine Thrasher, which I don't get why they're labeled as 60s. We're gonna put them in a place where you can't even see them. Now, we're gonna do something special. Make the back bumper out of leather or cloth. Yeah, I think it's actually made of cloth, or something like that. Yeah, it just looks like something that a blanket would be made out of. The roof, on the other hand, we're gonna make it out of the ugliest purple leather possible. Actually, no. Yeah, I think that looks awesome. It looks like someone killed Grimace and used his skin as a soft top convertible. Yeah, we're just gonna make our roof out of that. And now, let's see, what else do we need? Hmm, just thinking. Oh, I forgot. We need some other more details. Some other details are just more important. We need a um, hood thing that is actually level. Meanwhile, the rest of the truck isn't level. Yeah, made of bare carbon fiber with no clear coat. That's probably closer to being level than anything else in this car. The ugly 4th gen Mustang grille. And that's not all. We also gotta do some modification to this so it doesn't look like it's just sticking out. 
yeah. That isn't working, and neither is this, so I'm going to need to use a sunroof. This is how I remove the roof for that, um, for the race cars I make. Yeah, for all the cars that have no roofs that I made, this is how I remove their roof. Just use this and make it meticulous. I don't put a pat- I don't put a light around them that makes it shine. Yeah, this event is the only thing that's actually level. That's it. The only level object on this entire car. And now, we need two door handles. Now, you can't just unlock them one at a time. You have to lo unlock them both at the exact same time. I gotta fix my exhaust again. You know what? This isn't gonna be it. This, this isn't enough exhaust. It's nice and all, but that's not enough. Also, they're made out of yellow fabric, because why not? We're gonna make our truck bed the same ugly purple leather... We're going to make the bottom lower door panel a puke green. We're going to make our front bumper out of copper. Our hood is going to be made out of the ugly green carbon fiber that does not look good at all on this car. And now, on the back, we're going to put some exhaust pipes. Okay. That is not enough. That's not enough. More. I need more. You know what? This kind of makes me want to insert that Kylo Ren screaming more meme. That's what this whole thing makes me want to do. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not enough. Eight. We have, in total, 46 exhaust pipes on this thing. Yeah, that's not excessive. Let's also put a Nissan GTR wing on this thing. But, like, at the very back. Yeah. Okay. We're going to make the actual bar on it out of cloth, and we're going to make the sides out of plastic. And to be honest, that cloth isn't even, like, solid. It's literally just cloth stretched over. Now, we're going to name this thing. We're going to call it, um, Squat Nation. S-Q-W-A-T-T. -T. There. It's beautiful. It's a magnificent piece of garbage. It's a magnificent road hazard. Let's put four turbo badges, because that's how many turbos it has. And let's go to BeamNG Drive. This vehicle you're looking at right here has a 4-liter quad-turbo V12. Same engine as our truck. But this car is actually built for that engine. In fact, that engine is built to make this thing go as fast as possible. Meanwhile, we're going to be switching to the truck pretty soon, because... Simply because this car is not the star of the show today. No, I may share an engine with the star of the show, but it's not. Anyway, I'm just doing some driving and stuff like that. Now, here we are, in our proper vehicle for today. Now that I look at it, this thing is even stupider in BeamNG Drive than it was in automation. Yeah, wheel spin. There's lots of wheel spin. It's front wheel drive, if you forgot, and... Oh, wheel broke off from the axle. That's something that will probably happen a lot with this vehicle, to be honest. On the bright side, it is really good for doing burnouts in. Probably because there's, like, no grip on this vehicle's tires. Anyway, the wheel fell off, and I'm gonna need to try and test this thing at its top speed and, well, everything else. Okay, top speed, it's struggling to even go to 60, which... Considering this thing has over 3,000 horsepower, it's kind of concerning. The truck is finally at 60 miles per hour. It took a little longer than the turbine thrasher, but this thing, okay, it looks like it has a top speed of around 90-something miles per hour, which, for something with this such power, is really, really, really slow and kind of sad. So, yeah, we're just testing out its suspension. Its suspension sucks. This vehicle sucks, to be honest. It's silly to look at, and it's kind of fun to drive, but it just looks dumb. Really, really dumb. Now, we're going to be going slower some, because I want to test out a few other things. How it could go with hairs. <laughs> oh my, I have to try that again. I really have to. <laughs> that's just that's just funny. The car just
gives up whenever you go into reverse. I think that's really, really funny. The engine is currently stuck at about 6,000 RPM redline. Yeah, those wheels, just, just look at them. Just all the wheels in this vehicle look terrible. To be honest, this is probably the most level that this vehicle will ever get. The most level it will ever be compared to every other truck when it has broken front wheels. Anyway, let's fix it and the car just gave up. That's literally it. Just gave up. This car is exhausted. That's why it doesn't like to have its wheels on when it goes into reverse, because it's too much for it. Anyway, we should take this thing drag racing and see how it compares to other vehicles I've made. Alright, we're currently at the drag strip in our truck. Our very, very messed up truck. Our truck that probably shouldn't even see a drag strip to begin with. Because I don't think squatting a truck like that is ideal for drag strips. I think you'd want to... Oh, the wheel fell off. I need to do something real quick. Yeah, let's just start it. I hope it resets the vehicle. Now, we're going to have to pick a couple of opponents. I have not made many pickup trucks. I've only made like a few. Now, select opponent. Let's see. What opponents do we have? A lot of these are really fast, but... Yeah, let's do the truck. Yeah, 3,017 kilograms. It's pretty heavy. I'm not going to show you performance. It's totally like this thing doesn't have a ridiculously stupid amount of torque. But yeah, let's just compare them. Okay, we're going. Oh, I forgot. It's in realistic mode. Gotta switch it to arcade mode because I don't know how to do realistic mode. I don't have a... I don't have a stick manual set up at, any, at all. I'm probably going to buy one someday. Ah, I, I accidentally passed over the line. I've been disqualified. Got to restart. Oh, I, I hate whenever that happens. Like, I accidentally went past the line by like a few millimeters. And it just disqualifies me. Okay, we'll go to automatic. And now we go up to the line. Stop really carefully. I'm not going to rev up my engine because I have a fear I'll go across the line if I do. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Oh my. Oh my. That truck is going fast. Yeah, um, that truck, that is a ridiculously fast truck if you're wondering. It did a 10.18 second quarter mile in a full-size pickup truck. And yeah, that's my, I believe, 60 feet time, my 330 feet time, my reaction time. Yeah, not that good. But anyway, let's compare it to another foe. Another foe that's probably more reasonable, the Tectonic GT. Yeah, it doesn't say specs. It's lighter than this vehicle, so hopefully it's faster. And let's just see what it will do now. Okay, I have a feeling that I might possibly win. Oh my, it's actually moving, but it's just inching forward because I don't think the AI knows how to drive it. I think the AI just thinks you just press it on the floor when in reality you wind it up like a toy. Also, that, that was like 10 times sped up. And since we're both at the line, let's go! You know what, my opponent is clearly struggling. I'll be kind and wait. I got a 14.173, 99.77. And I've been sitting here for like over six minutes. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm just gonna do a different challenge, a different opponent. This time I'm going to race against the legendary Turbine Thrasher. Yep, that's who I'm racing against. The legend, the myth, the legend. Probably the most famous out of all my cars. Okay, there it is. And the reason there's two files, one of them's like a file for like seating orientation and all that, but yeah. 
this thing's about half as heavy as the pickup truck, like the first one. And hopefully, hopefully, that car has a broken wheel because of all the torque, and we can win, even though we have the same engine. So hopefully we can win. I hope we do. Oh my. Um, yeah, we clearly lost. Yeah, I think we already lost right now. And come on, we can go, we can go, we can go. Ooh, not too bad. We are, we got a 13 second quarter mile. Not too bad. Especially for a 3,000 horsepower pickup truck with bicycle tires. Anyway, that's all, and bye!